What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for Real Talk Wednesday. So I hope you guys are in store for this one because, girl, mm. let's just, just jump right into this. What's up, you guys? So I hope you guys are having a really great week. It's Wednesday. It's Real Talk. I'm so glad that I brought it back, and I'm glad that you guys are just as glad, too. I have got quite a few emails regarding Real Talk and my new Real Talk email, and that is down below, so that way you guys can hit me up there if you have any inquiries, some advice, some opinions, you know, some tea, some shade, whatever. You can always send it to me at the email that I will list down below. So y'all know how we do on Real Talk. It's very opinionated. There is no sugar coating. It is what it is. You send me an email. Please make sure to put in the subject line, Real Talk. If you want to change the names of yourself or whoever else you're talking about, please make sure that you say so in the email. If you don't mention that you haven't changed any of the names, I'll take it as if you have not, and then I'll go ahead and change them for you, only because it's all about privacy, and I really don't want anybody that you may not think may watch me know your situation, and then just go running their mouth all on the internet. Like, that's not what we do here. So go ahead and send me an email. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great week. Got my RPG show wig on, girl. Yes, I'm loving this wig. Like, I love anything that they put out. Like, for real, RPG show is, like, the best at making wigs. Like, for real. This is how I feel. I don't know about y'all, but, you know, you can find you a nice little really cheap one too that'll work as long as you hook it up but i had to do much to this one i do have a video for this up on my channel and if i remember like i said if if then i'll make sure to post that but you know it is what it is you, you guys i'm having a great week you know living my best life happy shining trying to live my best life despite the things that i've been through in these past 18 months i am trying to live the best life not living my best life but just trying to live the best life that i can for me and my family my kids my dog my family for my youtube people for just everyone i'm just trying to live the best life that i can be nice be kind be blunt be honest so anyway you know i'm just trying to get back to the things that you know are really interesting to everybody even if the wig videos are interesting there are other things in this world that we like just just as much as we like hair i mean i know for me there are plenty of things that i like besides hair we're gonna jump into this uh, before we even do, just check this out. Truly Beauty is a unique combination of health, substantiability, and performance. Discover the top beauty trends, secrets, remedies, and unfound ingredients from around the world to create the most complete hair, body, and skincare products. At Truly Beauty, they believe you should never need to settle. So they spent years creating vegan and clean formulations that perform as well as conventional beauty products, yet never compromise on the luxurious experience. Truly, you no longer need to choose between health and performance. You can have both healthful ingredients and a luxurious luxury experience. Check the info box for coupon code to save and let me know what you think of Truly Beauty. Hey, Miss April, thank you in advance for reading this. I hope you're able to get to it soon as this advice or personal opinion is very well needed. 
I'm not sure where to start, what to do, or even my next move. For video sakes, can you please call me Candy? I'm sure I'm going to hear it not just from you, but as well as your subs, and I'm all ears. I'm here for it. Me too, girl. I'm in my late 20s and don't have any children except the one I am pregnant with currently. The man I am pregnant to is married, and I know that is not a good thing at all, but it gets worse. I am pregnant to my sister's husband. She said it get worse. You can call my sister Lexi. Lexi is unaware. No one in my family is aware of my pregnancy as it is only three months and I'm a thick girl. I don't really like wearing tight fitting clothes so it goes unnoticed. Anyway, Lexi is unaware and to, I guess, make matters even worse, she is also my twin sister. We both was cool with her husband. You can call him Lee, like cool as in middle school, seventh grade cool. They have been together since freshman year of high school and we are now 27 years old. Lexi and Lee have three kids together, a beautiful home, life, family, and I thought a relationship too. Lee came to my house six months ago because him and Lexi were arguing and to get away, he came over to hang out with me. We always kick it together, but this time was different. We were smoking, you know, 420, and he started talking about he's glad he can tell us apart because he would hate to make a mistake and do something to me like he would do to his wife, my sister. I was curious of what the hell he was talking about. It could have been anything. Something harmful was the first thing that came to my mind since he left the house due to an argument. So why wouldn't I think anything other than that? I guess when I asked him and what was it and what was that? and up on you and started kissing you, what would you have done? Miss April, I didn't even know how to answer that. I think I was more shocked. I didn't answer. I thought he would have left it alone, but he slid again right back into it 20 minutes later by saying, you never answered me. I tried to act like I didn't remember, but he then got up in my face and said, what would you do if I couldn't tell y'all apart and did this? Miss April, he leaned in, grabbed my head, and started kissing me. And I don't know what happened, but I didn't stop him. You already know what happened after that. And here we are six months later, and I am three months pregnant. Yeah, he was seeing, <clears throat> yeah, we were seeing one another up until a month ago, cause I wouldn't abort the baby. So he stopped coming over, stopped calling or texting, everything stopped. I can't say we was an item, I cannot say we was an item because we wasn't. I didn't mean for this to get this far or even happen. I know I'm probably the worst sister ever or even worse, a twin at that. I don't know how to tell my sister or should I even say anything. I can, I can just play like I had a one night stand. I feel like a home wrecker and a family wrecker. Please, any advice or opinions would help right about now because I'm lost. Thank you so much, Candy. We got a little entanglement type of thing going on. I don't know if that's what y'all want to call it, but we got Candy and we got Candy's twin sister, Lexi, and we got Lee, uh, Lexi's husband, who is also Candy's unborn baby daddy. So she said, allegedly. Okay, so first of all, Y'all already know Candy is pregnant by Lee, who is her twin sister, Lexi's husband. Now, I don't know how long they've been married, Lexi and Lee, which is Candy's twin sister. I don't know how long her and her husband been married, but they've been together since freshman year high school. That's the ninth grade, okay? And if they're 27, y'all figure the math out, okay? Because I'm not here to be a mathematician, but I'm gonna just say that's a long ass time, okay? So we got Candy been fooling around with her, her twin sister's husband. Her twin sister's husband been fooling around with her. Either way, the whole situation is dead ass wrong. Me personally, I don't give two rats booty if we've been cool since high school, you know? That's one thing, you know, I mean, I guess you can consider him family because he is family. He's married to your sister, but certain family you just cannot take too far. Like, I don't know, but if it were me, cause I have a sister, we're not twins, 
I'm 12 years older than her, but her boyfriend is more closer to my age. But me and her boyfriend grew up together in the PJs. But if they had like an argument or something like that, you ain't knocking on my door. You was not ringing my doorbell. You're not knocking on my door because I'm not about to condone that to me. Like letting you come over here and chill and relax and get away from my family member, my sister. is like condoning the behavior. And for one, I'm not about to condone that. What I would say is you need to take your ass back home and talk it out with my sister because that's my blood. She come first. I don't give brats booty. Who? How long we known each other? I don't care if we are like this. That's still my sister. That's still my blood at the end of the day. So you're going to have to take your ass home. You have to work that out with her. You're not about to just sit up and slide up on my couch and eat up my food and use up my electricity. You know how I feel about people using up my shit, okay? But that's not even the problem. The problem, for one, you you had a, a one-night stand with the dude, but it wasn't even a one-night stand. Obviously, it continued because they've been messing around for six months and she three months pregnant. So y'all do the math on that, too. So this has been an ongoing, an ongoing thing. Just like she said, just like Candy said, she know they not no item. I mean, you can't be an item because if you don't go out in public with the dude, I'm pretty sure he ain't the only one that could tell that y'all um, y'all are different. They So they must look identical. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, he ain't the only one. Like family members can tell them apart as well. And even friends, there's something different about each one of them. Even though they may look identical into the naked eye, there is something different. It might be the weight. It might be the way they carry themselves as a woman, as a person. But the fact that he took it so far as to lean in and kiss you, that was like a whole disrespect. And I don't know, maybe y'all was that high and that smoked out that you didn't realize that that was your sister's man and it wasn't yours. I'm not really sure. Do you have a man? Do you have friends? Either way, what I'm just seeing is this. When you sisters and you blood, y'all is close. Y'all was closer than close. Y'all was in the same womb sack. So y'all was closer than close. Now it's like to the point where Candy feel like, well, I could just pretend like I had a one night stand and I don't know the baby daddy. So I'm going to just continue on with life. What if the baby come out looking just like Lexi and Lee's kids? How are you going to explain that? Okay, I'm pretty sure that her three kids, out of out of out of three of those kids, I'm pretty sure that one of those kids that your sister has with her husband looks like the husband. I mean, come on. There's gotta be at least one out of three. And if not, and they look just like the sister, then you might be you might be good to go. But I'm just saying that's not right either. Like, for one, you already did some trifling stuff by sleeping with him. The first time was a definite mistake. I'm I'm saying, like, not something that I, I me personally, I'm not about to slip up and make that type of mistake. That I'm not about to do, especially not with my sister's man or my sister's husband, my twin sister at that. I wouldn't never, never do anything like that. But okay, so I'm gonna just give you the benefit of the doubt because you know, I don't wanna be so judgmental because mistakes happen, things happen in life. So I don't wanna be that type of person where I'm not giving you no type of leeway or I'm not giving you no, no, no room to, to juggle this. But okay, mistakes happen and I'm gonna give you that benefit of the doubt. And yeah, okay, so you, you slipped up the first damn time and so did Mr. Lee, okay? Mr. Bruce Lee, he was doing some karate moves up in there, okay? So y'all both slipped up the first time, but why I keep going back? Like, what made that okay? Like, so the first time it was an honest mistake and I can't even say it was honest because first of all, the kiss, if you kept kissing them, that might've been an honest mistake. But bitch, if you open your legs, take your clothes off and spread them wide to the rivers, okay, to the Red Seas parted, then it's not a mistake. I cannot I cannot say blame it on the, um, the smoke, no. Like we can't, we can't, we can't bring it. We can't blame it on it. We can't bring it. We just can't blame it on the alcohol. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blame it on the draw. I'm not. I'm gonna not because I ain't. I listen. I likes to smoke too. I ain't never been that high to where you know smoked out to where I didn't like. Come on, man. Like this is just like I don't even know what to say for this one. But I do know this. Like if that was trifling, that was trifling. So, like, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. The first time, that was a huge mistake. Huge, huge, huge mistake. And y'all could have ended it right there. Y'all could have deaded it. You could have apologized to one another. And maybe you could have kept it like a secret. Because I'm pretty sure that would have broke your sister's heart. Like, I'm not pretty sure. I know for a fact that would have broke her heart. Here it is. Your sister is your twin sister. Y'all share just not only the wound in common, but now y'all sharing the same man. Like, where we doing that at? 
And what are we trying to make some type of dirty porn movie? Like, you know, twins and him. Like, what is what is Mr. Lee trying to get out of this? Because I know the nigga ain't trying to do karate moves on the both of y'all. Or maybe he is at the same time. I don't really know. But here's the thing. He got a family. Your sister got a family. You part of that family. And you the aunt. And now you're going to have a baby with your brother-in-law. Like, I know it's not incest. But goddamn, it just really sounds like it's incest. Incest. Incense. Um, dumb sense, nonsense. It just sounds like a whole bunch of a big old mess. I know everybody, some people are against abortion. Some people are like, hey, you do what you want to do because it's your body. And I'm one of those people. You do what you got to do because it's, it's your body. And at the end of the day, you're the one that's got to live with this huge mistake. Now, if it were me personally and I would have did some trifling foul stuff like that to my own blood relative, not even any blood relative, but to my twin sister, this whole thing is going to blow up into a fiasco and God knows what happens next. You know what I'm saying? With the way, look, how would I tell you on the last one? With the way the world is today, you know, people are going crazy because the economics, the virus, you know what I'm saying? Stimulus, okay, riots, people going around getting killed. The way the world is today, I would not be trying to have an affair with somebody else's husband, let alone my twin sister's husband. And that's just how I'm going to put it. I'm just how I'm going to say it. So now what you need to do, sweetheart, because it's not cool to go ahead and lie and say, well, I'm going to have a one night stand with some with somebody that I didn't know and now I'm pregnant. That's not cool. None of this was cool from the beginning, from the get-go. None of it was cool. And like I said, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. The first time was a humongous mistake. Red flag, huge, huge mistake, like with a circle and an X and another X with the poison control sign and the yellow yield sign too. Sweetheart, what to stop? You should have stopped, pumped your brakes, okay? Because that was a huge red flag, a huge mistake. That shit that he asked, what would, what would I do? Man, listen, first of all, we're not about to sit here and talk about my sister. I don't care how cool we've been. Like I said, he should have been carried his ass home. The moment he rang my doorbell, knocked on my door, dude, what? Oh, y'all had an argument? Well, I suggest you go back home and make up with my sister because that's what I would have expected. That's my sister. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who would have expected that. But the fact that you invited him in and y'all was kicking it like that was your blood brother? Nah, that's not really your blood brother. That's your brother-in-law. Two big, huge differences. I think Ninja liked you from the jump. Not Maybe not from the jump, maybe not from high school, but he must have type had some type of feelings for you. For someone to come out and ask you something like that, then he must have had some type of feelings for you. Like, you just don't go around and say, well, you know, I was just wondering, you know, this is just, this just was just on my mind, dude. You know, um, I know, thank goodness I could tell you and your brother apart because uh, I'm just saying, what if I just accidentally just went and grabbed your, 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 your penis? How would you feel? Like, who says that? Like, those are disrespectful words regardless. Even how, however you meant it, if you meant it in harm's way, if you meant it in a lustful way, just, that's just disrespectful. And I'm pretty sure, like Candy said, the first thing she thought was he was meaning something in a harmful way because he trotted his ass over there and was kicking it with her. So yeah, I would have thought too, like, oh, so what's that supposed to mean? Cause you over here and you had some type of beef with my sister. And then the funny thing about it is if you had a beef with my sister, do we not about to sit up there and smoke? I don't care whose weed it is. You're not smoking with me. And we damn sure about to sit up here and talk about my sister. And on top of that, y'all is arguing. What make you think you about to put your crusty ass lips on mine? Let alone get too close to my face area, okay? Listen, sisters are supposed to be blood. Y'all supposed to have each other back through thick and thin. And I know there's a lot of people out there who don't really consider their family to be family. And then there's some people that I know who will really go overboard for their sisters and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and just do the most. And, and, and a little bit too much. But hey, that's your business, not mine, because I could care less. But me, I have a sister. And I have a sister. And even though we are 12 years apart, that's my that's my girl. That's my sister. We may not spend that much time together because, of course, she live all the way in New York City and I'm over here in Arizona. But that's my sister. And I'd be damned if anybody disrespects her like that. Like, But now here's the problem with Candy. She not only didn't stop it from the first night, one night stand, 
she let it progress for a six month relationship. So God knows what Lee was telling Lexi, like, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with the fellas tonight. You know what I'm saying, honey? I'm gonna go hang out with the dudes. Meanwhile, he over there creeping at Candy House talking about, oh, yeah, what's up, girl? What's up, boo? What's up, twin thing? Like, like that's supposed to be cool. Like, what grown ass man gonna cheat on his wife with her twin sister that look identical to her? Like, what? who does that? Like, let's speak for real. Who does that? This dude must have some type of kinky, like, obsession kinky like just some type of kinky obsession with who knows either way it was wrong and then to continue it you know you wrong like me personally if I was your sister and like listen I'm trying to stay free of being a judge 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 a character but I'm just saying if I was Lexi put yourself in her shoes candy wear her shoes for a second how would you like if it was done to you like seriously how would you like if it was done to you but me personally if i was lexi i wouldn't be fucking with neither one of y'all you can have his raggedy ass i'm gonna take my kids and i'm gonna go about my business uh auntie candy you can take your sweet trolloping ass right on to lee ass and you can do some karate karate moves jet do do them on one another because have at it you know what i'm saying so to me like i said some families are really strong strong bonded and they won't let certain shit get to them they won't allow things to break them and then there are some families who will not allow things to break them but they will also hide that in the closet to where it's so hidden that they can't even find it they can't even find the truth in it. you understand what i'm saying like, now she's trying to hide the whole pregnancy thing by saying it was a one-night stand. That's kind of messed up for several people. The unborn, your sister. Not really even you, Candy, because what makes you feel like you deserve some type of um, sympathy at this point? Or empathy? Like, I don't know. And as far as Lee's concerned, I don't really care how he feels. Honestly, to be honest, I don't really care how neither one of you feel. I'm wondering how... Poor Lexi and the kids, the three kids are going to feel. I don't know the ages of the children, and it really doesn't matter because that was a happy home. And so she thought it was. Everybody has issues. Everybody has problems. Everybody has disagreements. But it doesn't make it right for you to go and cheat on the on the other person. And then to make matters even worse, you're going to go cheat. And you're going to go cheat with your, sis, with your wife's sister, her twin sister. Like, like I said, to each his own. Everybody had their own agenda. And my, my thing is this. He probably had his own agenda from day one, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he felt like he wanted to have the both of y'all at the same time. Maybe he got some ill manner fantasy. Either way, it was wrong. And now what you need to do is you need to at least try to make things right. Uh, there's let, let me say this. I'm not a good judge. Of, I, I mean, I am a good judge of characters, but I can't tell the future. I cannot foresee the future. I don't read cards. I don't, I don't have anybody no no telepathy i cannot see into the future or none i don't have a time machine or nothing like that but what i do know is this that regardless of how it turns out later on in the very beginning it's going to be very hurtful not only for you candy because it's hurtful for you now but it's going to be hurtful for your entire family because you think that your sister is just going to keep this to herself she's going to tell your mammy she's going to tell your daddy she's going to tell whoever else is in your family and, and you know, word travels, so it's going to get along. And if she has a best friend, you best believe that's who she's going to tell first, okay? And then so on and so on. So not only did you and Lee ruin a relationship, a marriage, but y'all kind of like ruined and destroyed a happy home. Like, it's one thing when a female don't know that a man is cheating on, you know what I'm saying, that she's the side chick. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing when a when a female don't know she the side chick, but when you know you the side chick, like there's no way that Lexi, excuse me, that Candy could have said, well, I didn't know because that's your sister. I don't care if she wasn't even your twin sister, you knew. And it's one thing when they don't know that they the side chick, because you know, a man could talk you sweet off the, uh, out your shoes. She, a female can too, but she knew, she knew. The whole scenario was kind of trifling. And it's like, okay, so, He's lying. Y'all been lying to this girl for six months. Not only have he been lying to his wife, 
but you, Candy, have been lying to your sister too. And you can't sit here and tell me that you have not been lying to her because the smile up in her face every single day and knowing damn well that you effing her husband, that's a huge lie. You going up in her face, not even being real. You going over to her house and her husband is sitting right there knowing daggone well you done humped him the day before or two days before, a week before, it don't matter. You just know you done gave up the goods. Okay, I just know that the immediate response is going to be anger, a lot of anger. And I'm not really sure how to tell you about going about doing this because I've never had a situation in my life to where I had to tell one of my family members that I'm pregnant to their husband. Like what I feel would work best and, and they, listen, ain't nothing really going to work best in this situation. But I feel like the first person to tell is your mother. And that's just how I feel about it. Because I feel like because you both are her child, that maybe she can come together and be the mediator. Not saying that Lexi's going to be like, okay, mommy, I'm going to respect your words and I'm not going to beat that bitch ass today. Or You know what I'm saying? But at least she's there. And it seems like sometimes we as parents get more respect when we are there, like, you know, as the mediator. Like, you know, we got Lexi, we got Candy. Nothing too dramatic is going to happen as long as the mother's there. At least that's what I hope. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, I be watching them shows, you guys. I do be watching them shows on the ID channel. And girl, let me tell y'all, there be some, there, ooh, child, there be some really crazy ones on there. Like, I, I can't imagine the, the way that some of these families be giving it up, like on some real, some real shit. Like the things that they do, they'll, they'll kill their parents. They'll kill their siblings. It's just really scary. And that's, you know what? That's one thing that keeps me from not even wanting to be with anybody. It's because I watch these shows. And girl, they are scary. Like, you, you don't really know who you laying down with, who you going for coffee with, who you texting. Like, you really don't know. Like, I could tell you all day long how I'm nice, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. And then I'm a totally different person. And that goes for anybody. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, them shows be scaring me. And then here we go. We got somebody who's a close niche relative and they still doing some really grimy stuff. Like people always sometimes, not, not all people, but you know, you would want to think that, oh, we family. So family shouldn't hurt family. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the key word. Like that's the main word family. Like we family, right? That's on appeal. That don't apply to everybody. Like some people could care less about being your family members. And I get that. Cause I have some too that I would not even want to deal with, but it's, it's crazy. Cause you think, well, this is my family. This is my blood. We're going to be cool. You know, we good. We family. Nah, it don't even work like that always. And I'm not just talking about candy because what she did on some realness was real foul. Like I, I understand. I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt. Like the first time was a huge mistake, but because y'all kept going on with it, that was dead ass wrong, wrong for the both of y'all. And me personally, if I was Lexi, I wouldn't even F with neither one of y'all no more or some straightness. I, would, I wouldn't care what my mother had to say. Like I would be respectable to my mom, but I wouldn't care what she had to say. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got to ever mess with you. I don't care if we share the womb together. Obviously, we don't share too much in common because you're too quick to open up your legs and give up the goods to my husband. So therefore, I don't feel like we should be speaking to each other because, girl, if we get too close, I might have to bury you. You don't want to be one of those that have to be buried. But I'm just saying, like, on some realness, it ain't always friends that do it to you. It could be a stranger. It could be friends. It could be your closest family. And let me tell y'all something. I love my sister to death and I'll go to bat for her. And you know what I'm saying? And one thing I won't do is allow her man to be coming over to my house, talking shit or wanting to come chill, especially after they done had some type of disagreement. That's not cool. Not at all. Because you're supposed to have sent him on his way. He got kids and a wife, your sister. But instead, you let him chill there. And now you're going to have to put your your big girl panties on. Honey, better put your big girl panties on, britches and girdle, sweetheart. Whole body suit. Either way, it's not going to be like the best happy ending. But you guys, you let Candy know how you feel. Like, what? Honestly, have you guys ever had a situation like this? It don't even have to be yours. It could be like somebody you know. What What, what is y'all opinion on this whole situation? Like, girl, listen. That shit making me hot, girl. Got to cool down. But I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. I got to go. Got to do my Dollar Tree video.
out. I love you all, and I'll see y'all soon.